Once the ProLogic has been configured, press the Menu button until the Settings menu is displayed. Press the right arrow button to access the Settings menu. Setting the day and time, display backlight, and beeper feature are the only unconditional items. All other settings are dependent on various pieces of equipment being enabled. If Heater 1 is enabled and the ProLogic is configured for spa only, or pool and spa, spa Heater 1 will be displayed. Pressing the plus button will adjust the temperature from off, no temperature setting, to 65 degrees Fahrenheit through 104 degrees Fahrenheit, and then wrap around. Pressing the minus button will adjust the temperature from off to 104 degrees Fahrenheit through 65 degrees Fahrenheit, and then wrap around. Press the right arrow button. If Heater 1 is enabled and the ProLogic is configured for pool only or pool and spa, Pool Heater 1 will be displayed. Pressing the plus button will adjust the temperature from off, no temperature setting, to 65 degrees Fahrenheit through 104 degrees Fahrenheit, and then wrap around. Pressing the minus button will adjust the temperature from off to 104 degrees Fahrenheit through 65 degrees Fahrenheit, and then wrap around. Press the right arrow button. Heater 2 is programmed the same as Heater 1. Press the right arrow button. If Heater 2 is assigned as a heat pump, then Heater 2 priority will be displayed. Choose Never, Always, or a suitable time interval from 1 to 23 hours. If Never is selected, then Heater 2 will never have priority over Heater 1 when heating the water. If Always is selected, then Heater 2 will always be chosen over Heater 1 to heat the water. If a time interval is selected, only Heater 2 will run when there is a call for heat. After the time interval expires, both heaters will be allowed to run until the desired temperature has been reached. If solar is enabled, solar heating is programmed the same as Heater 1. Press the right arrow button. If the chlorinator function is enabled and chemical sensing is enabled and ORP is not auto-sensing, superchlorinate will be displayed. Pressing the plus or minus button will toggle between on and off. When on, the filter pump will turn on and generate chlorine at the maximum output. The superchlorinate function will continue for the programmed number of hours set in the timers menu and override the normal filter pump time clock settings. Press the right arrow button. If the chlorinator function is enabled and chemical sensing is enabled and ORP is not auto sensing and the ProLogic is configured for spa only or pool and spa, spa chlorinator will be displayed. Pressing the plus or minus button will adjust the chlorinator output for the spa from 0% to 100%. Press the right arrow button. If the chlorinator function is enabled and chemical sensing is enabled and ORP is not auto sensing and the ProLogic is configured for pool only or pool and spa, pool chlorinator will be displayed. Pressing the plus or minus button will adjust the chlorinator output for the pool from 0% to 100%. Press the right arrow button. If pool only is not selected and variable speed filter pump is enabled, spa high speed will be displayed. Pressing the plus or minus button will adjust the speed from 20% to the highest speed that was set in the configuration menu. This setting determines the speed of the pump during high speed spa operation. Press the right arrow button. If pool only is not selected and variable speed filter pump is enabled, spa low speed will be displayed. Pressing the plus or minus button will adjust the speed from the lowest speed that was set in the configuration menu to 50%. This setting determines the speed of the pump during low speed spa operation. Press the right arrow button. If spa only is not selected and variable speed filter pump is enabled, pool high speed will be displayed. Pressing the plus or minus button will adjust the speed from 20% to the highest speed that was set in the configuration menu. This setting determines the speed of the pump during high speed pool operation. Press the right arrow button. If spa only is not selected and variable speed filter pump is enabled, pool low speed will be displayed. Pressing the plus or minus button will adjust the speed from the lowest speed that was set in the configuration menu to 
This setting determines the speed of the pump during low speed pool operation. Press the right arrow button. Set day and time will be displayed. The day of the week will be flashing. Press the plus or minus button to adjust to the current day. Press the right arrow button. The hour of the day will be flashing. Press the plus or minus button to adjust to the current hour. Press the right arrow button. The minutes will be flashing. Press the plus or minus button to adjust to the current minute. Press the right arrow button. Display light will be displayed. Press the plus or minus button to toggle between on for 60 seconds and always on. Each display needs to be individually set. Press the right arrow button. Beeper will be displayed. Press the plus or minus button to toggle between enabled and disabled. When enabled, the keypad will beep whenever a button is pressed. Each display needs to be individually set. Press the right arrow button. If a base station is connected to the ProLogic, Teach Wireless will be displayed. Press the plus button to start the Teach Wireless sequence. Press and hold any button on the wireless remote until Teach Wireless Successful or Teach Wireless Completed Normally is displayed. Press the right arrow button. Wireless channel will appear. The channel number displayed is the channel that the wireless system has automatically chosen to operate on. If Teach Wireless was successful, there is no need to switch channels. However, it may be necessary to manually switch to a different channel if you're experiencing difficulty when attempting to teach the wireless remote. Pressing the plus or minus button will manually cycle the system through the five operating channels. Press the right arrow button. Confirm change will be displayed. Press the plus button to execute the channel change. If the channel is changed and confirmed, all wireless remotes will have to be retaught.